Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. This is Collect Effect, where we show our collection some affection from Power Rangers to anime, Marvel, DC, and sometimes the random pickup. My name is Ron, and today we're checking out another Ninja Turtle crossover, this time with the Universal Monsters. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so check it out. We got the front side here. Raphael as Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, we'll take a look inside in just a sec. But let's go ahead and look at all the sides of the box. Here's the side panel. Looks nice. Looks nice. Typical VHS side panel. Yeah, who remembers those? Okay, you got the back side. Ooh, it's alive. Okay, and on this panel, you have the other crossover monsters in the collection. Well, these aren't all of them, but, you know, it's most of them in the collection. Um, you have Raphael. We have here. You have Michelangelo as a mummy. You have Leonardo as a hunchback. And, you know, it doesn't have the picture per se, just a silhouette. But that is April O'Neil as Frankenstein's bride. They're missing Splinter, that's Van Helsing. But, you know, I really want them to have uh, Dr. Jekyll Hyde for Donatello. We are back to the front side. Let's take a look at the window. If we can get this open. Okay, and here we go. Let's see if my hand manages. Yep. Let's go ahead and pop it out the box. See what's up. Douche, hey, what is up, folks? I started recording this two weeks ago, and I started getting COVID symptoms. But that weekend, I had COVID, but I'm back to normal. I get my cast removed on Friday, so maybe next week I'll be able to, you know, show off some articulation and some figures. But till then, we are back. Let's get on. It's my first Neko figure, and it's, well, you know, Ninja Turtle Raphael Universal Monsters crossover. Let's get on with it. So, here we have Raphael at the box. Right off the bat, I'm loving the knee pads. I don't know why something about the knee pads, but I love the detail on his face. Love the detail on the suit. Cards with extra hands, and some Thunderbolt size. But let's go ahead, take a look at the hands before we get an in depth look at the detail. So here we have Raphael's hands. He comes with an extra pair of closed fist hands and, you know, a gripping hand for his size. Now you may say, okay, that's just his hands, right? There's nothing really to appreciate here. But, dude, look at this. Okay, it has a sort of feel to it. But I really love the Frankenstein type stitches he has going on. And the nails. I just really love the, the fingernails. You know, they just pop. You know, on both hands. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the open hand. And the gripping hand. The thumb. And again, the stitching, I just love it. Oh man. Like this, and this figure just feels premium compared to my other figures. The detail is fabulous. Let's go ahead and move on to the size and the figure itself. So let's take a quick look at the size, you know. Nothing too much. At first I thought, okay, these are like knobs you could put on the side of his head, 
you know, thunder popping out. But then I was like, oh, Ninja Turtles have no ears. But here's the thing. I do like that they designed the size this way because, you know, whenever a monster comes alive, you know, and there, and there's always got to be some thunder lightning in the background. So, yeah, I really like this. This design for this crossover. Let's go ahead and check out the figure itself. So here we have the monster of the hour, Son of Frankenstein, Raphael himself. Love the detail, the jacket, the nice suit. Look up close, you could tell the broken turtle stuff up there. I love the way his face looks. The Son of Frankenstein is just a perfect mashup with the turtles, you know. Uh, and this chain down here, it's an actual chain, so I really love that touch. You know, the pants, the wrinkles, love all that. And it does have a broken pressure gauge. And that is what you see, you know, and this little thing with the nozzles. You got the red bandana. Or whatever. His headpiece hanging out there. That's cool. That's a nice touch. Oh, and you can see he was the sewer topping. I don't know if you can see the wording. Hold on. Yeah, right there. And then you have the door openings. Man, I love this figure. And, you know. Since I can't really showcase <coughs> the movement properly, here is his hand stretched out. Yes, it does go for rotation. And his legs are out as far as they can go. Don't have real movement side to side, but I kind of expected that. And a note on the head, it does only move side to side. But, yeah. Overall, if you love some monsters and you love the tarot, this is definitely a collection worth picking up. So let's close it out with a pose out. Check you out next time.